Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Robocraft with me, Lathrix, and of course, welcome back to the Leveling Up series. In today's episode, we are going to be building ourselves our very first railbot, and I've elected to build a rail cruiser. I've just built a very basic little stand for everything to go on, attached some wheels, and I'm pretty happy with it. Probably the most boring building aspect in the game, just building the base for everything else. It looks sturdy enough, it should take some hits, and there's a little bit of protection for the wheels. What more could you ask for? But before we get into all of that, before we start testing it out, I do want to quickly mention something. As people have been asking for it, and I didn't really expect people to want this, I have decided to put some of the bots I build from this series into the Robo Shop under one condition. I will not be collecting the rewards from these sales, otherwise it would kind of of temper my opinion of the leveling up system now, which is the whole point of this series. So if I've built a bot, there's a good chance if you go into the store and search for laugh levels, laugh levels, there we are, we now have bloop currently there. So if you want to purchase it and try it out for yourselves, feel free to. By no means a finished bot, but a lot of people have been asking for it like I say, so there we go, pandering to the masses. So, before we do anything, we're going to be testing this out in the test mode. I haven't been there yet, so it's all going to be a fresh experience. The main thing I'm looking for is how fast do wheels actually stop when they're on a slope, which I hear has been massively improved, and how well do they climb? Because, again, apparently that's been improved massively as well, at least since the last time I've tested these out. So let's get into the test mode and give it a quick look. Here we are on our little base. Sadly, we can't be testing out the speed because we don't have enough galaxy cash for the speedometer. So first test, a nice, very simple slope. If I stop, will the bot stop? Yes, it will. Okay, how about if I'm a little bit to the side? Absolutely no slide at all. That's fantastic news, especially since I'm going to be using rails. And once again, we'll do the same, perhaps on a more steep slope like the one over here. I didn't even think it was there for a second. Okay, stopping us, and... Yep, completely stopped. That's absolutely fine. Which means rail should be okay. They're not quite as good at stopping as tracks, but tracks can be stopped almost instantly, so that's hardly a surprise. How about if I'm half on a ramp, half not? Kind of beaching myself. A little bit of a rock, but yep, once again, absolutely fine. That's fantastic news. Climbing up all those ramps seemed okay. How about climbing up a wall? What? Okay. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Is that because of the placement of our wheels clipping or something? When did I upgrade wheels this much? I knew they'd been upgraded. I need to read patch notes more, apparently. Okay, the wheels seem fine. I know that they have also nerfed the climbing capabilities of tracks. I mean, before they were insane. Have they simply gave those to wheels? I need to read the patch notes more. I haven't been truly invested in Robocraft too much for the last couple of months, so clearly I've missed something here. Just my fault entirely. Okay, well, next question. Are the wheels affected by thrusters? I mean, I've tested everything out I want to now, so we're just going to attach a few thrusters to the back, and we'll see if we're any faster. Well, with the speed test, it does seem a fair bit faster using the thrusters, although it does also cause a lot of sliding. Perhaps it's because of them all being on the top, um, above the point of mass, so it's all forcing the bot down, but actually controlling it now is a lot more difficult. So I don't think I'll be using thrusters, and honestly, since we're going to be using a rail, and although they could help us with getting out of situations, they wouldn't really get us into a good position that much faster, so I don't think I'll be using them just yet. I was originally going to be using downwards thrusters just to keep our craft pinned to the floor so that we could aim a little bit better, but apparently that's not needed anymore. So let's get back to the mothership and finish off the design. That is not going to make it. Ow. With all that out of the way and a few confusing things learned, let's start building the actual craft. So let's just go ahead and put down our rails straight away so we see how much CPU we've actually got to use, which is actually only just under 100 CPU, which is less than I thought I had. I must have built this a little bit too big, which always seems to happen. I'm not very good with building very small crafts. 
So what I think I'll do, and I think this might be a terrible idea, but I think it might be also a good idea considering our CPU shortage, is I'm going to put the very first rail right here on the front. Now, this is bad for a number of reasons. The first reason, of course, being it's going to get shot off in seconds if we come under attack, and also it won't be able to fire behind it, along with actually obscuring a lot of our building work. But it's also going to save a lot of our CPU because we don't actually build around it. So I think that's a necessary evil if we want to keep this base, which I kind of do. So I want my brick to forever be a brick. Next then, do we actually want to start building up? That's the question. Do we want to start building up this craft at this stage? Or do we want to perhaps simply attach the next one onto these aero rods? And actually what I should test out first, delete that. Can I... No, that's too close to each other. Okay, so we need to go over the edge a little bit here. Something like that. Hmm. Not too sure about that, honestly. Again, far too obvious, but also it sticks out too much. I'd like that perhaps one further back. Or even two further back, honestly, for this, this to be the ultimate height of the bot. Something like that. And then, of course, we could build up to that point so we can actually armour up the front of the arrow rod. I think that makes sense. In my head, at least, and that's always a good thing. And yes, mirroring is also a really good thing, especially when you actually remember to do it. Uh, there we go. So next, then, let's start building this thing up. How close can I get to that front rail? There. Do I want to push this even one f uh, I don't think I want it one further. I like the fact I've lit up one block. And as always, I'm not going to bother doing triforcing because A, I'm far too lazy, and B, this is such a simple bot at this um, stage, I don't really want to put too much time into it, honestly. Which could also be considered laziness. Still getting used to the paint gun controls. Now, would it be better if I did this? And then maybe had this, like that. Yes, I think it would, because then we could actually just sneak this in here. Okay, that, that looks better than what I was going to do originally. I'm okay with that. Just armor it up again. And this goes all the way back. We do not have very much CPU left already. And I'm actually missing one of the guns on the floor at the moment, so that's how much CPU we've actually got left. That is not much in the slightest. I feel like this is a bot which I'm going to have to upgrade over time. I don't think I'm going to be able to make the finished design right now, especially if I'm going to go with this style of bot being very heavily fortified. Could I do this? Would this be a better idea? I could do is that, and have that facing up, and then that way it still attaches to the bottom a little bit more naturally. And could that go there? There. Oh, it can go there. Okay, that's an okay positioning. It's not the best. It does mean that if I'm firing down, th these are going to clip a lot, but it also means, again, we've kind of saved on space. So where does the last one go, then? I was going to say in the middle, but there's no chance I can put this on any level without that clipping horribly. We'd need some more space on the back. Or we could make this into two. We could just go with the boring route, which is normally my route anyway, and do something like this. So each one's basically just going up one tier. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. I'm not going to say it's good, but it's also not terrible. Something like that. Very, very blocky, but hopefully are able to survive a bit of a plasma punch as well. Even if plasmas are devastating at the moment. Not a massive fan of this. I think we, I think we can stylize it a lot more when we have a little bit more CPU. But for now, we just don't really have the resources to do that. So we're just going to have to keep it as it is. Now, putting this armor here actually means these can't fire backwards. But once again, I just want to bulk it up as much as possible. The more armor we have, the more ugh, the more low CPU, high health items we have, which is always a good thing. Actually, what I could do there is this. Do I want to do that now, or would I rather go back to the regular? Yeah, back to the regular there. Okay, that's good enough. 
change that to blue and change the top layer to grey making it a weird sandwich colour like a weird ice cream sandwich thing going on it's not going to win any awards for being too pretty I'll, I'll, I'll be the first to admit that however it should do its job okay as long as these guns don't clip as long as they function in, in the way I'm thinking they function it should be fine so once again we'll just jump into a quick test and see if they actually fire or we could actually go into single player to see how good rails are as well at the same time that would probably be the better idea of the two what am I doing wrong? Oh, of course it goes over there doesn't it um, let's leave that as it is or we could do this. Yeah, a little bit better. Okay. Into the single player. Before we get into our little test, I've decided to give the bot a bit of a makeover. So we've lost one of the guns, but we have actually gained a lot of armour, and I've smoothed off the front and the back a little bit, so it looks a little bit cleaner. Still not a huge fan of how it looks right now, but we can improve that, like I say, when we have a little bit more CPU. I've also noticed we are literally one level away from the aerofoils and the rudders, so a flyer is in our very, very near future. And so begins the test. First of all, can I climb this ridge? Amazingly, yes, even with that horrible run-up with almost no speed. Okay, shooting mostly downwards, will the guns clip? First one didn't, second one didn't. Actually, it'd be best if we just looked like this, so we can actually see which gun's firing, even if there's a much lower chance of me actually hitting the target. But no, all five guns did fire. Not doing too much damage though. I have heard tell that rails at this tier are not exactly the scariest of things. And so far, from the experiences with the tank and the mech, I am inclined to agree. Also, the damage being done isn't fantastic with these guns. Although saying that, we are also extremely low overclock, which will be playing a big part of that. Just shoot sideways. Yeah, the guns are absolutely fine. They're not causing any, any real clipping issues. Clipping with a rail is the last thing you want to see. You, with this bot, anyway, you only get five shots, and to have one of them simply not go forward because it hit and hit another gun is a pretty big deal. But everything looks okay. Control-wise, seems absolutely fine. We can also climb things very well. I think it's time to test this out in our first team deathmatch with the thing. First battle, of course, on the cursed map, we are up against a lot of rails and three plasma bombers. So it's a bit of a mixed bag here, although I've just noticed we have no enemy SMGs on the enemy team. So this is going to be a little bit weird, I think. Here's hoping that their bombers are a little bit too aggressive as well. I wouldn't mind that. Although saying that, now we've re now with regeneration and them being able to crash somewhere and survive, it's going to be a little bit weird, showing the problems with wheels here. What on earth is up with that shaking? That was quite bizarre. Oh, I thought... I did see something! I just spotted at randomly, hoping I might have been spotting something real, and I did! Ah, hit it twice, did a lot of damage, but sadly only taking it out of the skies. If someone doesn't clear it up, it's simply going to regenerate and be right back in the fight. Like I was saying, the big problem now with taking down bombers as rails. Unless you kill them, you really haven't done much. You've simply delayed them, which is better in a battle arena. Walk, my friend. Walk aggressively. Ooh, rail shots coming from somewhere over there. I see a few SMG shots. Once again, nothing we can actually fire. Oh, there's a flyer. I can't sp okay, now I can spot. Excellent. Taking it out of the sky. And getting the kill. Excellent. First kill with the rails. This is my hill. I will defend it with my life. Most likely. Unless I choose to run. In which case, I'm defending it with my life, with my life rather, from elsewhere. Or my lice, like I just said. I'll defend it with my lice. I'll simply throw lice from my hair at the enemy. Disgusting. And probably not that effective. Unless psychological warfare is what you're going with. Hello! You're a tank, a much more reasonable choice of thing. Hello, enemy. Yes! No! Oh, I hit it, but someone else got the kill. Sad face. Enemy right there. Sadly missed the spot. I kind of want it to heal, because as soon as it heals, it'll be a bit more in control. Wow, one shot kill on that thing. Two enemies missed the first spot, so obviously the second spot didn't happen. That's a rail, that's a plasma. I'm actually more scared of the plasma, honestly. 
There was another enemy. Where'd he go? There he is. Well, I hit him. Go on, finish him off. Oh, we're friends. We've made a friend. Excellent. Kinda want to move though now. They're all hiding behind there and we're in a bad position because of that. I literally can't move backwards. There we go. Missed the enemy then. Going back down a little bit. See if we can perhaps do some damage to him now. Not even half of his health gone. Go on lad, you can do it. I, on the other hand, am moving a little bit so I have a different angle than him. I don't know if that's a good idea or a bad idea. Do you want both of them to have the same angle so we can basically do double damage when an enemy appears? Or two different angles so we have a wider scope of places we can actually deal damage to? Should have just gone for the weapons or the movement type there. Going for the middle and trying to core it out, of course now the seat doesn't exist, isn't as effective as it used to be. Edging forward a little bit, the rail's back online. Defend! I was going to try and get in the way of the shots, but he already stopped shooting, okay. There we go, excellent. We saved you, sir. For the greater good. Now, that plasma's still alive, I just realised. Oh, enemy rail, somewhere over there. Random spot, nope, no luck that time. Yep, definitely prefer using tracks to wheels, I'll be honest. Just don't like the feel of them anymore. I used to love them. I used to way prefer once tracks first came out, I preferred wheels massively. Did he have one gun? I mean, I'm okay with that. Didn't get to shoot back because of it. Should have maybe gone for the legs though. There we go. Okay, he's gone as well. I think I just heard some plasma, no idea where from though. We need a radar. There's only two of us left! Okay, well, one of them is capping, so I've got to go and defend. There's no other option here. A very drawn-out first battle. Four kills, though. I mean, even if we end up dying now, not a bad first battle. And haven't been too punished for only having five weapons yet. They're saying that with the rail the first time we attacked it, having an extra shot might have made a huge difference. It's hard to tell. He didn't spot the rail attacking him. And he's not dead yet, no. Oh, hello! Um, well, that's a curious mode of put him in. Go on, shoot. Get your last shot. There you go. Because I, I want to heal up before I fire anyway, so... It didn't really matter too much if he hit me or not. Him staying still is the important thing. Random spot. We got him. Let's heal up. Oh, he just fired. And although we haven't got full reload, neither has he now. And reload. Then maybe we can get the kill. No, no need to be up on this hill right now. Spot him again. Nope, he's gone. He's gone. Which is definitely the smart thing to do. I was hoping he'd stay there and just try and cap. Bad position with my guns there. His shield took a, the brunt of that shot. Yeah, bad position. No, our plasma's being killed. These wheels are far too sliding when you're moving around. I miss my precision controls. The length of this battle, the oh no, it's a plasma. Oh, if I got that last hit! Oh, I could have got the kill there, I could have got the kill. That just, oh, it's horrible when you know you could have killed the enemy. And there it was our first time truly being punished for only having five guns. I would have had an extra shot. That's going to hurt. Rail's in... How did that rail hit me from that angle? No idea. Spinning out. Nope, this plasma's going to win this. Definitely. I don't want to shoot, but yeah, no chance. Still not bad, even with the kill there, two against one. I could have killed that rail, which is so, so very annoying. But we got the top of the scoreboard, we did well for our team. Five kills, one assist. God, I am going to be beating myself up. For and so begins the second battle using our rails. And there is a lot of plasma on both teams. But at least this time, we are the only rail, which is a bit of a difference from the last battle, to say the least. 
very frail but very quick design there, and that shot would have missed, as you saw the red dot there hitting the wall. Bit of damage done, could we like, maybe lose him control? Nope, but on the upside he isn't going for us either. <laughs> we rails aren't as much of a threat as we used to be. However, <laughs> we've got the kill regardless. I feel really exposed here, but at the same time it's such a good position because it has such a wide field of view. Although I did hear something die very close by, so I'm going to move actually, since we have no allied um, sigils nearby. I have plasma, I can't see it, but I can hear it. Again. Enemy there. Wait. You're not going to go after the plasmas and SMG that are chasing you, but the guy just zoomed past and would have ignored you. You're going to shoot. Clever. Well, okay, maybe I wouldn't have ignored him, but had the potential to ignore you, I should say. Healing up, excellent. Definitely need that sixth gun. Still beating myself up from the last match. Could have won. Could have won. I have no idea where the enemies are. Oh, I hear shooting. That's generally a good sign of enemy. Did I mention we are now using wheels and not tank dreads? Really? This thing can flip? It looks so heavy though. Okay, they're capping, so I'm going to go and be a nuisance and try and stop them. Um, We could have just carried on, honestly, there. Do we go up the hill or do we go around there and poke our, f and poke our guns out? I think this way. Probably the riskier of the two, but still. And stop. Next time, stop in a better position. Okay, took out a lot of its guns, and now our friends are here to mop them up. Unless I can get another kill, which will be fine by me. Excellent. There we go. Team victory. Absolutely wonderful. Second in damage, top in score. It's safe to say my first couple of experiences with the rails, although clearly I'm a bit too rusty, have been a very positive set. Although wheels, I'm still not overly keen on right now. It seems I read something wrong a little bit earlier. At level 17, we don't gain access to both the wing and the rudder, but instead only the wing. So from now on, we do have access to flying robots, but just not the type I actually want, as I'm going to build a traditional aircraft to start off with, which means I want both rudders and wings. Of course, you can make flyers very easily with only wings, or even only rudders, or neither, if you're so inclined, with just thrusters and blocks, and eventually helium, wherever helium actually is on this tech tree. But, alas, I want the traditional kind because I'm a stickler in my ways, and I love traditional flyers. This bot will need to be upgraded heavily before I consider it a permanent bot. I will, however, be putting it onto the store right now. Once again, I will not be taking the rewards from the store bonuses. So if you pay in Galaxy Cash or regular RP, I won't be accepting it, but of course you still get the bot. It simply gets stored in the store until I'm willing to accept it, which will be in the distant future, perhaps once the series is over. For now, I'll just call it Rail Buggy, something nice and generic, and that's that. And in fact, while we're on that kind of thing, Bloop is being renamed to Sledge, which was a suggestion in the comments last time. So if you have a suggestion for the future name for this rail cruiser, which is going to be changed a little bit look-wise, but stay mostly the same, then of course, once again, in the comments is the best place to put it. Well, the only place I'll actually be reading. A rail cruiser. Yep. And there we are. So, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Robocraft is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you again, and goodbye.